with the company introduction. So how, why don't you tell me a little bit about Telemarks Consulting? Sure, sure. Uh, so uh, we're a digital transformation company. We cover uh, the uh, enterprise-based, enterprise application layer. We work with SAP, uh, ERP, CRM, Reba, success factors. So anything, so everything to do with SAP, we implement at the enterprise application layer. Help businesses automate their key business functions. And when you talk about analytics, we work with a company, a technology company called Click, where it's master sellers. Like you know, like with SAP, we're gold partners, and with Click, we're master sellers uh, of Click. So we've done over a hundred business intelligence projects with Click. And for uh, infrastructure, for the infrastructure layer, if we you know go to the very foundation. So we offer our cloud service. It's an infrastructure as a service offering. You know, it's SAP certified. So we're currently managing the largest SAP private cloud in Pakistan. You know, hosting clients like Lums, UCA, the entire landscape. You know, with us. So we're a digital transformation companies, and we see ourselves as IT advisors to help you build your technology roadmap. So this is how we see ourselves, and this is. Uh, what we are doing currently with our key customers. Sure. So, uh, at EMC, uh, primarily, so there are three things that we do as a company. So, we are an SAP uh, system integrator. Uh, that, and in terms of SAP, uh, really, we do uh, everything in and around at SAP, a very boutique technology shop uh, around SAP. Uh, and uh, we have specific verticals and expertise that we have built over time. Uh, so, as for Hana is just uh, you know uh, the core that we focus on. Then we have HR transformation uh, focused using success factors. Uh, then we have a data uh, a portfolio as well where we do uh, document digitization. We do uh, data master data governance, master data strategy, uh, archiving of master data, uh, and our industry focus also exists within several industries, including but not uh, limited to. Uh, higher education and research, uh, healthcare, uh, then we have focus on textile, uh, which is a very upcoming uh, industry, uh, not only in Pakistan, but also from an SAP perspective, uh, where SAP has recently invested a lot on fashion vertical for uh, textile industry. Then the second thing that we do as a company is, um, from a technology standpoint, correct. Now, uh, overall, uh, we have chosen Click to be uh, our technology stack of choice, uh, primarily for three reasons. So one is, it's not just only the technology itself, it's also uh, the ability that it creates within the organization uh, overall. So uh, the focus that Click has on data literacy overall enables the organization, which we think is a dire, dire need uh, in, in uh, not just local market, uh, you know, in Pakistan, but in the region itself as well. Any company uh, requires data literacy to be at a certain level for any BI initiative to be successful. So then, uh, you know, after data literacy, the technology stack itself covers the entire supply chain of data. So starting, uh, you know, from uh, what we call QDI, Click Data Integrator, which is a real-time replication-based ETL, which takes care of your entire data supply chain. Uh, then from the user consumption side, enabling the user on ClickSense, enabling the user to create their own uh, ad hoc on the fly AI-based uh, analytics. So uh, that, that is the focus that, that we have from the uh, front-end side. Then there are a lot of things around it as well that just helps improve the experience that users get from exploring data. So that is not just only uh, you know made the data consumption easier, but also uh, given our totally different set of dimensions. So for example, we have a chatbot uh, on top of analytics. We have geo analytics, which just uh, do the analysis on geospatial data, which is a very specialized uh, way of analyzing data and how we uh, perceive data. Third thing that we uh, saw in the local market in Pakistan specifically, then we expanded it regionally as well, is uh, our services around private cloud. So we had a very modest uh, starting on that, but right now what we're doing is uh, we have 18 customers where we are hosting their S4 HANA uh, instances. Uh, uh, and we are managing it completely end to end for them on our cloud, where their primary, their DR, their uh, uh, backup management, their SAP management, everything is with us as, as a company. Uh, and uh, it's a ISO 27001 certified practice, uh, state of the art, uh, HANA certified uh, data center, P3 uh, data center. Uh, and you know, so. For an SAP customer, we can we do everything for them. So we are the value-added reseller. 
we uh, maintain their system from an SAP score perspective. We uh, do their day-to-day -day maintenance and we manage their servers in the social landscape. And then we also implement for them as well. So they get a turnkey uh, as well. That also enables us as an organization to give them a 360 uh, 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 turnaround service uh, around SAP for their digital uh, transformation uh, needs. So and also it improves the time to uh, delivery as well. Imagine a company taking an initiative and they have to figure out every aspect separately. Uh, so, uh, you know, so it's a complete responsibility with us. So we can be judged and we can perform end to end. So we can be, we can perform and we can be judged on our performance uh, on the outcomes that we perform. So essentially these are the three verticals that we have uh, as a company. Um, and there's a lot more to it as well, but just, uh, you know, to give you a broader idea about uh, the company itself. So, so these are uh, all the different verticals uh, that we have uh, yeah. within SA. Then over time what we have done is we have also sort of uh, learned from our uh, localized experience. We have made several add-ons, accelerators, but more importantly what we have been able to achieve quite successfully is uh, the enhancement of SAP's methodology to implement. So we have a very strong training and enablement of our clients before we start the project uh, to train the end users, the business process owners on SAP itself before they start their SAP journey. So we have an educated uh, end users and educated organization who are taking part, uh, whether it's a data initiative or it's a process-based uh, digital transformation initiative within the organization. So that, that is what we have been able to uh, structure and create uh, as an innovation within telemarks that you know we bring to our clients. Okay. So moving on to the next question, we're here at Jitex today and uh, telemarks has been coming here for quite some time. So tell me a little bit about that, how long has uh, telemarks been participating in this and what are some key takeaways for why should anyone participate in this conference for that matter? So we uh, have been participating in Jitex since 2019. So, uh, 2019 was a very successful event for us. Uh, Telemarks Consulting has been based out of the UAE for the last uh, 10 years. So, you know, we have customers uh, including the likes of uh, Emirates uh, Aluminium, including the likes of Adnoc based out of uh, Abu Dhabi. Yeah. So, um, this region is very important for us and we have you know, we have a decent number of customers we work with and still working with projects ongoing. So, um, you know, this region is very important for us. Jitex being the largest technology show in the region. So, you know, our participation, um, you know, it's a natural decision to participate, you know, every year. Yeah. So, um, it's, it's going really good, especially this year, you know, coming out of a pandemic and, uh, you know, seeing everybody, the, the event in full flow, seeing people's faces. It's just a, you know, big, uh, big, big relief, you know, for everyone, I think, you know, coming out of such a challenging yeah. time. So, uh, you know, that is how we see this event and that is how important it is for us. Absolutely. So, um, I think we, we get uh, clients at Jitex uh, from all the countries where we are working. So, uh, primarily we uh, have uh, several clients in Saudi, uh, KSA, uh, in Jordan, Oman, uh, Pakistan, of course. Uh, so, many of our existing clients plus uh, prospects that we have been working with. So, it's a very uh, good platform to meet all of them and reconnect, so th that is one. More importantly, we have our roots in UAE, so obviously we are set up here in Dubai and Abu Dhabi uh, as a company and several of our customers exist uh, in the country as well. So uh, we uh, get to meet all of them as well, so uh, uh, that is one. More importantly, many of our uh, customers um, from Pakistan, they also visit, uh, so uh, we get to meet them as well. But I think more importantly, what um, we as a company take away uh, from Jitex is the connections that we make. So when we do a digital transformation project, while we focus on SAP, on ERPs or if it's HR transformation success factors per se, our technology stack of choice per se, uh, but there are several uh, things which are around that ecosystem. So for example, we will need uh, an uh, attendance management solution. So there are several companies here that we yeah. meet and then we constantly improve our partner mm -hmm. network as well. Then, you know, uh, I still remember 2019, uh, we participated and we met this company uh, who provides brilliant RFID solutions that we took back uh, to Pakistan and we have deployed uh, at several uh, of our customers. So, you know, these connections that we make, that also adds value to us yeah. as a company uh, too. 
So it's not just about meeting potential clients, it's also about building partnerships and synergies and enhancing our overall business. Exactly, okay. exactly. Plus all of our OEMs as well, SAP and Click themselves are here as well. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, that too. Okay. Yeah. So there's a lot happening at Jitex. You know, we have startups, we have tech giants, we have mid-sized companies over here. Um, so tell me, what are some key takeaways that you take from here? And in terms of trends, what do you think are the most upcoming trends happening around here? So. Uh, I think uh, in terms of upcoming trend, so we see a lot more focus on AI now. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, AI, uh, IoT based solutions, uh, the focus on data has increased uh, mm -hmm. by a lot. So um, I was just looking at uh, Abu Dhabi government's uh, wall of data uh, that they have and there has been a lot of work that has been going around in all of these spaces. Then we have many applications of robotics that we get to witness and quite amazing to look at, frankly speaking. So I think these are some of the main trends that we see uh, now. And uh, it's amazing to see technology uh, at work, technology applied uh, in all of these use cases that we see around. And uh, I think there will be more and more of uh, the same coming uh, in upcoming years. What about you, Shahab? So, um, yes, exactly. Uh, you know, I, I'll second um, the CEO here. Uh, you know, uh, this is a, a great, you can say, you know, innovation, center of innovation. Mm -hmm. You see innovation happening. You know, there were there are companies which are, you know, doing a lot of advancements in the field of mm -hmm. robotics. Yeah. So, robotic process automation. I saw, saw a lot of, you know, uh, work being done uh, for this. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, we are also working on um, you know these cutting edge technologies with SAP with Click mm -hmm. on uh, artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. on uh, uh, robotic process automation. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, this is where we get to see um, you know uh, the advancements and the innovation yeah. that we're going to see in the next coming years. Yeah. So this is you know this is a, a big benefit on you know events like these that you get to. You get exposure to these things and yeah. you, know, you get to learn more. Yeah, absolutely. So tell me, what is it that Telemarx is taking back home? What are the changes that we're going to make in the business based on these trends? So I think um, most importantly, I hope the uh, number of leads that we you know uh, take every year. So we absolutely. will definitely have yeah. uh, new potential customers. So that is one. And partners, uh, more importantly. But I think... Uh, uh, a lot of education that we get here from a technology standpoint really help us uh, sort of envision uh, how and where technology is going. So back of our heads, uh, that sense of direction uh, is also something that uh, I think uh, we are taking away with us. So the um, uh, key takeaway for me and uh, would be that um, first of all, you know, like. Uh, mentioned that the uh, number of these the people that we're interacting with and getting to showcase yeah. our products is, is um, you know on brand recognition you know um, that you know that's something that I that have you know uh, increased via this event and um, Shahab can you talk a little bit about how Telemars is at the forefront of innovation and uh, we're here because we want to keep up with the trends and go back and implement those so for instance talk about uh, the data wall is in so people in Pakistan they don't have a sense of direction So with ideas like that we can go back and give very focused direction to our customers that this is how you could go about implementing that data literacy change in an organization. Well, uh, that's a very good question. Um, you know, we've been hearing buzzwords for the last uh, you know decade almost, you know, good buzzwords like big data, buzzwords like IoT and you know that they're going to they're going to transform the way we, we do business. And um, the way I, I would say that that plateaued was because there was a lot of hype around these buzzwords, but the actual applicability for business was not there. The vision that how it's actually going to help businesses and governments, you know, uh, run themselves better was, was, not, was not there. So um, uh, now we're seeing things like uh, true alignment with technology true business alignment with technology that is where you know um, the innovation that is where innovation becomes uh, you know adopted by the masses so it's not just about creating new new technologies and creating um, you know buzzwords yeah. it's about seeing how applicable they are and how easy they can make our lives and how easy they can make uh, businesses run themselves so that is that is where 
you know um, innovation really becomes you know uh, adopted and its benefits really transform uh, industries and organizations. And I think some of the uh, use cases that we get to see over here, there, there are many companies in Pakistan that uh, can benefit from these use cases right away. So we can sort of relate to them as well once we uh, take these discussions back home with our clients. So I think uh, many of these ideas. Uh, they'll be able to replicate uh, quite well. Uh, so I can already uh, visualize in my mind many of our customers, you know, benefiting from some of the use cases which I see here. So I think the, that uh, innovation in itself uh, is quite useful. Uh, take away from the conference itself. Okay, perfect. Thank you. We're done.